Start by draining the seawater cooling system. Disconnect the hoses and the pipes from the pump. Then disattach the pump from the engine, remove the lid and the old paper seal. This seal is usually a part of the new impeller set and will be replaced when inserting the new impeller. With a snap ring plier, remove the snap ring. A ratchet drive extension is perfect for removing the pump shaft. Use the narrow end and tap it with a hammer. Inspect the ball bearings and replace if necessary. Mine are in perfect condition and I will keep them as is. Use the other end of the drive extension to remove the inner seals. There are four parts of this seal. Two sealing rings, an o-ring and a special support washer. The o-ring and the two sealing rings need to be replaced. Remove the rest of the old O-rings and clean the pump house thoroughly. Now it's time to reassemble the pump. Start with the ceiling ring nearest to the impeller. Lubricate with a good quality grease to ease installment and to secure a good seal. Make sure to turn the seal the right way. The visible spring should face towards the impeller on the first seal, but toward the engine on the last seal. Now install the O-ring. the support washer and finally the second sealing ring. Again make sure to turn it the right way. Grease up the ball bearings with new grease and install the shaft. Make sure the support washer and the o-ring fits correctly on the shaft and use a hammer to tap it in place. Attach the snap ring and all the o-rings to the housing. Attach the pump to the engine before installing the new impeller and paper seal. not over tighten the bolts. Connect hoses and pipes, install the new impeller and the lid and finally test the engine and check for leaks.